Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're having a look at the Playatron Chat Vega, a one port filter with resonance and clever chaining capabilities. A truly modular filter to create your own filter designs from the ground up. First, let's address the elephant in the room. What's with the name? Quick history detour. Chadwika was the first female monarch in the Kingdom of Poland. So the Chadwika module is a one pole filter. The first pole of many if you chain them, so to speak. And speaking of chaining, that's exactly what this filter is for. It's a building block to craft your own lush, wacky or crazy filter topologies. Let's briefly go over the controls and I.O. and explore what this allows us to do. The main controls are the cutoff frequency and the resonance. With respect to the filter type, the cutoff knob sets the frequency above, below or at which the signal is attenuated or increased. For a typical low pass filter, that means that frequencies lower than the cutoff are passed and frequencies above the cutoff are attenuated. For a bandpass filter, only frequencies around the cutoff are passed. The further a frequency is from the cutoff, the more it is attenuated. A high pass filter only lets frequencies above the cutoff pass and attenuates the frequencies below the cutoff. And a notch filter, as an inverse to the bandpass, attenuates frequencies around the cutoff. With less attenuation, the further the frequency is from the cutoff. Resonance defines the emphasis of frequencies around the cutoff point. Be careful with high resonance values, as the output can become very loud. With the resonance cranked all the way up, we can get the filter to self-oscillate at the cutoff frequency by adjusting the cutoff or by pinging it with a short trigger signal. In addition to cutoff and resonance, we have a switch to change the filter to either low pass band pass or high pass and a mix control to define the ratio between the filtered wet signal and the unfiltered dry signal. At the bottom of the module we get two extra outputs with their own controls. At the low out only the low part of the signal is output with regard to the cutoff frequency setting. Similarly the mid out outputs mid and below content with resonance. The pads above each invert the output signal and the knob above that functions as an amplifier from 10% all the way up to 200%. With these outputs and controls we can craft many filter types and spice them up. Apart from the filter controls we can control the output volume with this little knob and turn the filter off and on by pressing this button. There's also this inconspicuous golden knob. With this control we set the resolution of incoming CV signals. The lower the value, the more often the modulation inputs are sampled and applied to their respective targets. However, this also increases the CPU load. So if you do not need audio rate modulation, it's best to keep this value at its reasonable default. Speaking of modulation, almost everything on this module has a CV input. The frequency and resonance inputs feature an extra bias knob that offsets the incoming modulation. With Playatron modules, modulation is special. All visible controls are motorized and represent their real current value. This means that if you apply modulation, the control visually follows this modulation, hence the bias for frequency and resonance. There is a second input for modulating the frequency that does not move the frequency knob but allows to modulate the filter cutoff offset by the current frequency knob setting. There are also CV inputs to manipulate the filter type and the mix. At the bottom the volume and polarity of the low and mid out have their respective CV inputs as well. Now you might have already spotted that there are fine lines from some CV inputs to output checks on the other side of the module. Good spot! The essential controls have their inner workings laid out on the interface of Chatviga by offering CV inputs and outputs. Each knob's movement is replicated as CV at these output checks. This way, chaining multiple Chatvigas in series is as easy as connecting the respective controls' outputs to the respective inputs on the next Chatviga instance. 
Keep in mind that the BIOS setting for each chip Vega can be different and that the BIOS is not carried over to the next instance. So stacking multiple filters with different settings and offsets provides you with infinite filter shapes. Let's dial it back a little. Why would you even want to have multiple chip Vegas? I'm glad you asked. See, chip Vega is a one pole filter and therefore has a roll off or slope of 6 decibels per octave. If you add another Chetvika, this creates a two-pole filter with a slope of 12 decibels per octave. For each additional Chetvika, the pole count is increased by 1 and therefore the slope is increased by 6 decibels per octave. When combined with the mix fader, an arbitrary number of poles can be set up. For instance, a Chetvika with 50% contributes half a pole. Likewise, 33% yields a third and so on. To sum up, the slope determines the steepness of the filter. Generally, lower slopes allow for gentle filtering and higher slopes allow for surgical filtering. The steeper the slope, the more effect the filter has on the face of the frequency components around the cutoff. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Here we have 10 instances of Chadwika lined up and connected in series. The A oscillator provides a saw wave that is then run through the Chadwikas. Our trusty old Vivel multi oscilloscope shows us what's happening to the waveform, and Necomatic microspectroscope as well as PSP spectra show us what's happening to the frequency content of our saw wave. For convenience, I added a DC source that provides an offset for the cutoff frequency. Keep in mind that when chaining Chetvikas, the bias is not passed on, and it also provides a handy dial for the resonance. I could have used the knob on the first Chetvika for this, but I made this DC source ignore variations, so we can keep the same resonance but change the pole count. Let's start by having only one instance of Chetvika enabled. This is a one pole filter. If we enable another instance, we end up at two pole filter. And we can continue in this fashion until we have all Chetvikas enabled. We have now created a stunning 10 pole filter. This is a 60 decibels per octave slope. Things get more interesting when we increase the resonance. There is an added amplifier before the main output that decreases the signal volume the higher the resonance is set to safeguard our ears. So let's experiment with different pole counts and resonance amounts. There is a hidden feature within Chetvika. It comes with a very tasty saturation stage. If you overdrive the signal going into Chetvika above 6 volts, the signal is saturated. To massively overdo on overdrive, I use player to super gain. Let's turn it up to 11. Now that we are done with the basics, let's move forward to more advanced filters. For this we will need all outputs and a mixer for convenience. Chatviga can be set to either output a low pass, band pass or high pass signal at its main output. But in combination with the low and mid out at the bottom, even more filter types can be patched. Setting Chatviga to high pass and adding the low out signal creates a notch filter. Combining the low out with the inverted mid out creates a bandpass filter. Mixing the inverted low out with the original signal creates a bandpass. Combining the raw original signal with the inverted mid out creates a slightly different, more hollow bandpass. In bandpass mode and at mix 50%, we create an EQ bell or peak. 
The latter can also be achieved by mixing the bandpass output with the original signal. And here's one nifty trick. If you want to combine the outputs at the bottom with the input signal without filtering, you can set the mix to 0%, which gives you the unaffected input signal at the main out. Apart from creating standard filter types, we can use the low and mid out to strengthen the low and mid frequencies for a beefier sound. In more complex chains, adding lows and mids from one filter to another one anywhere in the chain can lead to very interesting results. Now this is a modular filter. We can chain multiple filters not only to get a steeper slope, but also to create unique filter shapes. Varying the frequency or resonance bias in a chain of chapikas creates intricate resonance structures. Keep in mind that the input saturates, which can be used to inject non-linearities in your filter design. And combining multiple chapikas in parallel with different filter types and settings creates hybrid filters that can be orchestrated from one single interface. Get creative and create your own unique filter designs. We now know Chatvika on its own, but there is more to discover. By combining Chatvika with other signal processing modules, you can add some serious character to your filter. There are many ways to add highly sought after nonlinearities to a filter. You can, for instance, saturate multiple Chatvika's inputs in a chain. A more unique way to add harmonics is to add wave folding and DC offsets in between a series of Chatvika's. Here's an example of four Chadwigas and a player from Oscillator Tiny Wave Folder. We can add one more, more Chadwiga set to high pass to get rid of any DC residue at the end of the filter chain. Within a modular system, creating feedback loops can be very much fun. And if carefully tuned, feedback loops are awesome for weird sound design. With Chadwiga, we can create feedback loops by patching the last Chadwiga in a chain back into the first. Rest assured that the output levels are tamed by Chatwiga's saturation. However, if you want to fine-tune the feedback, adding an amplifier or attenuator in the loop is advisable. Since Chatwiga lays out the structure of a complex filter with multiple points in the chain to interact with, we can create feedback loops within the filter itself. This can get out of control pretty quickly, especially when adding loops inside of loops inside of loops, so you get the point. But if that's your thing, I certainly won't judge. Let's relive the digital innovations of yesteryear by reducing the sample rate and bit depth of each chat weaker to get some digital crunch. Or how about filtering the upper part of a waveform differently than the lower part. With Chatvika and the amazing module Wrecker from Collider Modular, we can set up a filter that reacts to the positive side of a signal differently than to its negative side. There is a lot more to this clever little module, but I'll leave some for you to discover. Let's recap. Chatvika is a one-pole filter that serves as the building block to complex filter designs. Multiple Chatwikas can easily be chained by patching the control CV outputs to the corresponding CV inputs on the next Chatwika. Multiple filter types can be achieved by cleverly combining all of Chatwika's outputs. And with some module friends on its side, Chatwika can be the key to your unique filter. Let me know what interesting new filters you come up with. Have fun exploring and see you around!